Hey guys, today we are going to look at slope. We're going to answer the question, how do I use the slope formula to solve problems? So remember the slope formula is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1, where m is the slope, and the two ordered pairs are x1, y1, and x2, and y2. So function notation is something we talked about in the last unit. So if you were given a function notation like this, then x is the number inside the parentheses, and then y is the number that the function value equals. So looking at this one right here, we want to label x1 and y1 as in our first ordered pair. 3 would be x1 since that's the number inside the parentheses. And when you input the x into the function, you output 21. So that would be y1 because the output is y. So let's look at how we could apply this. Number one says, find the slope of a linear function that has the following function values. So they told us that it is a linear function. I know that means that the slope formula will work. And then they actually gave us two ordered pairs here. They told us when you input two into the function, you output 10. So there's an X and a Y value. And then they gave us another set. When you input four, you output 20. Remember, input is X and output is Y. So now I can substitute this in to the slope formula to find the slope like it asked me to. So the slope will be Y2 minus Y1, so 20 minus 10 all over x2 minus x1, so 4 minus 2. So that equals 10 over 2, which simplifies to 5. So the slope of that linear relationship is 5. All right, let's look at number 2, same thing. Here they gave us some function values and they want us to find the slope. So let's label the inside the parentheses is x, and what it equals is y. Inside the parentheses is x, what it equals is y. And I can just substitute in to slope formula now. So the slope will be negative 21 minus negative 14 all over negative 5 minus negative 10. So minus a negative, I'm going to change those to plus a positive. So that's really negative 21 plus 14, which is negative 7, and negative 5 plus 10, which is 5. And that does not simplify any further, so my slope is negative 7 fifths. All right, let's look at number 3. Same thing, find the slope, and they gave us some function values. So this is x1 and y1, and this is x2 and y2. And if you notice, I have these same x values. And when I have the same x values, that means I'm going to have a vertical line. I'm not moving left or right at all. So that's how I know I'm going to have an undefined slope. Let's go ahead and prove it with the slope formula. It would be 20 minus 40 for y2 minus y1 all over 2 minus 2 for x2 minus x1. So 20 minus 40 is negative 20, 2 minus 2 is 0. We cannot divide by 0, so again, that is why this slope is undefined. Alright, number four, they gave me some function values and I want to find the slope, so let's label. This would be x1 and y1. This would be x2 and y2. So this time we have the same y values. And I, when I have the same y values, I'm not going up or down at all. So I have a horizontal line, which means it's a zero slope. Let's prove it with the slope formula, though. So 
So it would be negative seven minus negative seven all over x2 minus x1, which is 40 minus 20. So this would be zero on top because negative seven plus seven is zero. And then 40 minus 20 is 20. And zero divided by anything is zero. So that is why that function values, those function values have a slope of zero. All right, let's look at number five. It wants us to find the slope of a linear function that has the following function values. So f of 5m equals 6m, and then f of 7m equals negative m. So I know that this looks a little bit weird, but they still just gave us an x1 and a y1 here. What's inside the parentheses is x1. What's it set equal to is y1. And then same thing, x1, y1 or x2 and y2. And let's plug into the slope formula and see what happens here. We might be able to simplify something. So y2 minus y1 would be negative m minus 6m. And then x2 minus x1 would be 7m minus 5m. So negative m minus 6m is negative 7m. And then 7m minus 5m is 2m. And we can simplify this a little bit further since the numerator and the denominator have a factor of m. Those are going to simplify out. m divided by m would be one. We don't have to multiply by a one, it stays the same. So the slope here is just negative seven halves. All right, and number six, it says, if the linear function below has a slope of negative two, find the missing value of x. So we can still use the slope formula to solve our problem here. We will substitute what we have into the slope formula and solve that equation. So let's label negative two is x1, six is y1, x will be x2, and negative four will be y2. And then they gave us the slope of negative two. I'm gonna put that over an invisible one. Negative two is equivalent to negative two over one because I'm going to end up having to cross multiply to solve here. So I have everything labeled. Let's substitute in the slope is negative two or negative two over one. Y2 minus y1 would be negative four minus six and x2 minus x1 would be x minus negative two. And let's simplify this, negative two over one, I'm gonna keep as is. Negative four minus six is negative 10, and x minus negative two is the same as x plus two. And now I'm going to cross multiply. Negative two times x plus two is equal to negative 10 times one, so negative 10. And now I'm going to distribute and I get negative two x minus four equals negative 10. And then I add four and I get negative two x equals negative six. And then we divide by negative two and we get x equals three.